Hello guys, nice to see you today. My name is Anton and today we will talk about introducing ourselves. After this lesson, you'll be able to tell other people something interesting about you, like your hobbies and passions. Hmm. Does it sound very easy? Hi, I'm Vanessa and I live in North Carolina in the US. I run the YouTube channel Speak English with Vanessa. Well, it's a little bit more complicated than that, but I will help you to work on that. Let's go. These are some phrases you can use. Age. You should not tell them how old you are. Age is just a number. Occupation. My official occupation is different each year because I hate having the same job for a long period of time. Nationality. My best friend has such an interest in nationality. Her dad is Egyptian. Her mom is Ukrainian, but she was born in Spain. To be fond of. I'm very fond of reading and I love books so much. I always feel like there is not enough time to read everything I want. To be interested in. My brother is interested in sport. He is very athletic and can easily win lots of championships. To be good at. I can't believe she's so good at playing chess. This game is very difficult. To be keen on. I hate drawing, but I'm keen on scrapbooking. I find it so relaxing. To be a member of. I can't hang out with you on Saturday. I'm a member of the PLUS organization and we have a meeting in the afternoon. Regularly. The key to happiness is to exercise regularly. You will soon feel much happier. To volunteer. She volunteers at the animal shelter in her free time. She feeds the animals and cleans after them. And now guys, let's practice a little bit. Read the sentences on the screen and fill in the gaps with the words from the box. Pause the video and read, then write down your answers. Are you ready? Let's check. 1. What is her age? She's around 16 years old. 2. I'm a member of this super cool church organization. We meet every Sunday. 3. You can't just go running once. You have to do it regularly. 4. I don't like swimming that much, but people tell me I'm good at it and I can do it well. 5. What's her nationality? I'm not sure, but I guess she's Korean. 6. In my free time, I volunteer at the local animal shelter. I clean and walk the dogs. Hey, you did it! I'm very proud of you! And now, let's take a minute to enjoy a blog introduction from Christine. Hello everyone, my name is Christine, I am 16 years old and I am from California. I still go to school and after my lessons I work as a model for teen magazines. I don't always like those photos but people tell me I am good at modeling. I am very interested in skiing, I love going to the mountains with my family. I am also fond of animals, in my free time I volunteer at a local animal shelter. This shelter is mostly for cats and dogs, but we also have a few unusual animals like mini pigs and huge parrots. I do this volunteer work because I am a member of the World Organization for Animal Health and it is an important question to me. In my profession, you have to exercise regularly. I tried doing water polo in the past, but I was not very keen on it, so I switched to tennis instead. This works so much better for me and there is a tennis court next to my school, so that helps me save some time. I hope you liked this post and now it's time to check how well you listened 
and answer some questions about Christine. Pause this video, read the questions, think about and come back for the correct answers. Christine works as a A model. Two, Christine likes C, skiing. Three, Christine is a member of the B, World Organization for Animal Health. Four, Christine is good at A, modeling. Five, Christine plays tennis now because A, she wasn't keen on water polo. Hey, well done, you guys. Hmm, now that we have seen Christine's example, let's think. How can we write a post like that on our own? You can use these phrases. Hello, my name is... For example, hello, my name is Leila. I'm 17 years old and I'm from Turkey. I'm a student. I love, I'm fond of, and I'm a big fan of. I enjoy, I'm keen on, I'm good at. I'm fond of boxing, I enjoy swimming in the rivers. I'm keen on dancing, but I'm not very good at it. An interesting fact about me, I have six older brothers. Let's check you now. What do you think? In your introduction to your followers, should you use your real home address? No. Tell your real age. Yes. Tell your real phone number. No. Tell about the books you like. Yes. Tell something bad about yourself. No. Tell something about the sports you enjoy. Yes. Hey, you got it. Well done. This is the end of our lesson. Now you know how to introduce yourself, how to tell others what you like and dislike, how to describe your hobbies and what you do in your free time. And what do you like to do in your free time? I hope to see you guys at the next lesson. Bye-bye.